Hello everybody, this is Raymond yet again, and today, this will be a guide on how to play Portal RTX on the Steam Deck. Now, now this is a huge shout out to a YouTuber named uh, Night Sight Productions. You, sh you should go thank him for making this possible. Well, I mean, technically already is possible, but, you know, um, technically he's the one who optimized it, so you should thank him for optimizing Portal Log TX for the Steam Deck. So, this, you should go check out his uh, YouTube channel. Feel free to support him. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you have Portal installed. Make sure it's Portal 1. So, if you, make sure you have it on your Steam library and install. If you do not have Portal on your Steam library, make sure you buy it from Steam directly. And once you do that, Go to your uh, properties and make sure you set this to uh, uh, Proton. Once that's done, we'll then need to install uh, uh, Portal RTX. And we'll do the same for this. Uh, the properties. Now, don't don't worry about those. That's that's for later. So. Make sure you go to just select whatever version of Proton you have. We'll set it to uh, GE Proton 9.2 and install it. Now you'll get this. Now don't worry about this part. Now it does say that Valve is still working on adding support for this game on Steam Deck right here. It says it's unsupported, but I mean technically it is playable, so yeah. Now for the purposes, we'll be installing it on a micro SD card. So here we go. Now keep this in mind that uh, installing games onto a micro SD card, uh, it will not affect the games in any way, shape, and form. It's just that uh, when installed into a micro SD card, uh, loading times will take a bit longer as opposed to having it installed into your SSD. So, not a deal breaker, just something to know. Once that's done, uh, for this next step, uh, we'll have to go to desktop mode. So, we'll go to desktop mode. Now, for this next step right here, what you want to do is you'll have to go to mod DB. Right here. From here, you'll find this one called uh, Portal RTX Steam Deck Mod. It was it was uploaded by Nightside Production. So, you'll have to download it from here. Just like so. We'll wait for it to download. Just like that. Next, we're gonna have to extract them. So we'll go to here. Now, what we need to do is like uh, extract these into the portal RTX bin folder. So right. So from here, we'll. From here, we'll go to Steam Apps. Uh, common. Portal RTX. Bin. And next thing, you have you to go from here. Click this. And 
make sure you select show hidden files. Click on that. And you'll see the hidden file right there. Dot tricks. You're gonna have to extract all all of this into this folder. So let me just take this out real quick. I'll close that. For all the TX. Here's the DXV. You'll have to take the context from the DX uh, VK Rad V patch. In which this optimizes it for AMD Rad V drivers for Linux. All this, right? If it if it asks you uh, to overwrite stuff, then uh, press right into, and then you click on this, it'll overwrite. Make sure you replace them all. Just like so. Then you'll have to go back to here again to Portal RTX. Uh, you can select between uh, 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 quality, balanced, or performance. You can set. Now I'll post a uh, is a screen so that. Now shows you the resolutions for each of these presets. With that said, uh, you could choose. I'm gonna choose a uh, quality right here. And I'm gonna put this into this folder. Copy and then paste. And that should do it. So now we can go back to uh, gaming mode. Once that's done, well. We'll go over here. We'll go over the game's properties. And you'll have to go to the uh, the launch options to type the following. So I will zoom in and show. You'll have a, for my purposes, this is what you'll type down. Dry Prime Zero Command. No gamepad UI windowed. Making sure the high everything is in the correct positions. Now the reason why we want to drive Prime Zero is because uh, uh, we're going to be using the uh, Vulcan version of the Mesa driver that's used for and the flat pack for the Steam Deck. So Vulkan runs better than OpenGL. So the uh, the Vulkan version of uh, the Rad V driver uses the newer version anyway. So. Once that's done, go to controller settings, and you'll find. From here, go to community layouts. Here's here's the uh, the layout that I made. So let's click on. Here's my uh, layout. And click on uh, Portal with RTX official Steam Deck layout with A, and make sure to press X to apply the layout.
Oh, and uh, another thing I forgot to mention too is that you'll have to go to the quick settings by pressing this button right here. And you'll have to go down to the performance. From here, you'll have to enable manual GPU clock. And make sure it's set to 1600 megahertz. So, so uh, yeah, I forgot to mention that part. So make sure you do that. Now, while we're in the game, make sure you press Alt and X right here. You'll find the the uh, the NVIDIA RTX se settings menu. Make sure this is set to NIS right there. Like, uh, like uh, I tried using TAAU before, and all it does give me uh, the stuff that was supposed to be there. So. This ends up making it blurry, so make sure this is set to this. Make sure you have this set to performance. Have it set to performance. So keep that in mind. And that's it. You're done. Portal RTX runs amazing on the Steam Deck once you got this mod installed. Now, I will be showing uh, a comparison between different presets and different resolutions. So, here, here's the comparison. Sure, let you know that uh, this modification only works on Linux. AMD currently has no driver support for NVIDIA Remix on Windows at the time I'm making this video. I'm sure NVIDIA Remix AMD drivers will come to Windows eventually, but for now, you'll have to settle for Linux on the Steam Deck. Now, obviously, you don't need Windows in order to do this. You could do it just fine using uh, SteamOS. Now SteamOS is based on Linux, so yeah, this method will work on uh, other uh, Linux uh, distributions like Ubuntu, Mint, Arc, and other uh, Linux distributions operating systems out there. Since this modification optimizes Portal RTX on AMD hardware, I can assume that this will work on other AMD graphics cards out there, such as the, uh, the Radeon 6000 series, 
graphics cards. And that is the tutorial on how to play Portal RTX on the Steam Deck. I hope you found this video pretty useful. Honestly, the Steam Deck is the best way to play Portal RTX. After all, the Steam Deck is a ray tracing capable handheld gaming PC. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and click that notification bell. I will see you guys next time.